What is normal to men but weird to women? Having friends who you can spend an entire day helping work on a project, and when you get home your wife will ask questions about what's going on in the friend's life and you have no idea but he's still your friend, and you both thought it was a good day. Sorry for the run-on sentence. When we meet friends that we haven't had a chance to hang out with in a while, we don't talk about the big stuff because hanging out with the boys is supposed to be a break from the big stuff. Edit dang, y'all, this must be more relatable than I thought. That sidestep to unstick your nutsack. Friendships based on activities instead of personal connection. Only sharing a problem if you are looking for an explicit solution. It seems more general that men seldom talk about their issues just to vent, which does seem to be how some miscommunication happens. Men who are close can spend several hours together and not ask any nosy questions of each other. My wife is always asking me for details, and I have to reply, I didn't ask that. Insulting your friends in front of them, but praising them behind. Edit thank you kind stranger for the award. Wasn't expecting this comment to blow up. That every man has had an urge to dig a hole. A lot of us also have a deep-seated urge to dig at any point. Someone crossing the road to avoid you at night. Meeting a guy at a party you shake his hand exchange small talk for 30 seconds. Your significant other has one million opinions on his girlfriend wife and him. You just say. Seems like a nice guy. Sitting in silence. What am I thinking about you ask? Nothing. That we can get together with no specific plans, snacks, or anything. And be content just chilling until an idea pops. When you're walking and there's a woman walking in front of you so you intentionally slow down or speed up so it doesn't seem like you're following her. To me, I would say our ability to fight and then be good seconds later. Trusting a random man you met five minutes ago with our lives. Working together without saying a word for hours and both be perfectly fine with that. Leaving the house at the precise moment to arrive perfectly on time. Peeing while standing up. Going days, weeks, months, years without getting a compliment hug from anyone. When you nod up at someone you know but nod down at someone you don't know. Speaking from personal experience as a man 36 years, and counting who struggles with emotional intelligence I'm going to say needing to have things spelled out explicitly, especially when it comes to how another person is feeling. That instinct that women seem to have, yeah not so much for men. Not thinking about anything in particular, and just existing. Our ability to completely empty the mind. Blasting poo stains off the toilet bowl with a highly accurate urine stream. Just playing with your balls. Adjusting crotch. Solving 99 of your problems without ever talking to a friend about it. Understanding the struggles a fellow man is going through and offering assistance in the spots he needs with minimal words being spoken, but maximum efficiency. Tapping your pockets when you leave your apartment to make sure you have your keys with you. Living a minimalist lifestyle. I see these memes about guys think it's okay to live like this showing bare walls and the barest of furnishings and realize that's my place. Women like to decorate and fill the empty spaces with junk like live laugh love signs on every wall whereas I think a futon and a computer desk and 75-inch big screen TV is a fully furnished living room. Feeling completely invisible to the world. Not feeling the need to know everything about a friend's private life. Leaving the toilet seat up. Sending a pic while taking a shit and get an instant reply from your boy who's shitting as well. How when we're working with other guys we know exactly what the problem is and we just grunt, nod, and make hand gestures, because we don't always need verbal communication. Being denied joint custody. Taking their shirts off in public. Switching our brains off for some much-needed thinking about nothing. Direct communication with no double meanings, coded language or unreasonable expectation of telepathy. Diligent car care.
punctuality on dates, apparently. I read this meme that said the best thing is to ask the person directly for advice or if it's okay to vent. And then if someone shares a problem with you, ask if they are venting or want solutions. Still working on putting this into action but it sounds helpful to me. Becoming friends after a fight. Doing nothing and just shooting the shit with a couple drinks, and then coming out of it without knowing anything new about each other's personal lives. Not gossiping, also not being filled in about every detail of a friend's personal life. I see my best friend from childhood it's five minutes at best about work and family and then we pick up with our conversation the last time. We saw each other a year ago, which is something along the lines of who gets laid more Legolas or Gimli. I tell my wife a friend of mine and his girlfriend broke up and the most I can tell about the situation was it just wasn't working out. He seems alright though. The ultimate power of being able to stop your pee stream using nothing but your glorious cock muscles. X200B. Reddit can't ever let a joke be a joke without correcting it. A penis. Peeing standing up. My fiancé always says when men have issues with each other, they talk about it briefly and if they say they are cool, they are actually cool. Whereas women, we have a spiderweb of connecting thoughts and intermingling feelings and make connections that make complete sense but are for the most part, entirely irrelevant and they need to talk about every aspect to feel better or you're not actually cool. Being treated like a criminal even though you've done nothing but exist. Paying for dates. Swiftly resolving interpersonal conflict with limited or no drama. Being alone for long periods of time. Being sexually deprived for long periods of time. Being able to be friends with someone after you've got into a fist fight with them. Enjoying silence. If I'm alone in the house I will happily spend the morning for example pottering about, cleaning and browsing the internet in silence. A crushing feeling that you're only worth to the person who matters the most to you is in your income and that if you lost your job, and the ability to provide financially they would abandon you. Deep manly man voice when we first wake up. Hanging out WA group and vibing W all of them despite not knowing each other's names. That men can start throwing punches and go back to being friends a day or two later. Women can hold a grudge forever. Calling friends buddy or buddies. I've never heard a woman say it, but men always do. Forgetting stuff that has nothing to do with you, I've had friends tell me stuff e.g. sexual orientation, relationships, personal stories, etc. And years later it'll come out as a shock to everyone and I'll just say yeah they told me x amount of years ago and they ask why I kept it secret, I just didn't care to spread it around. Farting as hobby. Accepting unequal relationship status. I have a best friend that doesn't consider me his best friend and were perfectly happy idiots. A girl found out about it and was baffled by our mutual understanding. She insisted he wasn't my best friend just because he didn't say he was and she couldn't understand how I was so unfazed about it. They were talking at the time and he split things off with her for that reason and she yet again couldn't understand LMAO. I can show up at a doctor's office or any other appointment with my kids, without any of their cards or documentation, and they'll bend over backwards to help me if I say I don't really know what I'm doing, my wife sent me here. They're just so happy to see a dad helping out with kid stuff. Practical Pockets Sitting down after getting home from work and making dinner and putting the kid to sleep. My wife will ask what are you thinking about? Nothing. Literally nothing. I am not thinking about anything. I have learned that this is a foreign concept to many, many women in my life. When I'm really quiet and not talking and you ask me if I'm okay and I say I'm fine I actually mean it and I'm just chilling. To quote Ron from Parks and Recreation, I had a friend, we didn't talk much while hanging out. To this day I don't know his name. Best friend ever. True story. Spending way more time on the toilet than you need to because sometimes it's the only time when you've got a free minute. The Olay ball adjustment when you've been sitting too long in the same position. Coming during sex. Pea shivers.